Hi, in this video we are going to see the PhD admission notification from one of the National Institute of Technology and here the total 227 PhD vacancies are there from the multiple uh, departments and the selected candidates will be having the opportunity of getting the scholarship also and eligibility is the PG okay. and uh, without UG Senate or without GATE also you can apply here. So before going into the main content of this uh, video, here one announcement is that the candidates who are preparing for the UGC in December 2020 uh, cycle exam. So from April 7th onwards, uh, the revision through the pre previous year questions for the paper one as well as the electronic science. Okay, so utilize this opportunity guys and the details regarding this one I kept at the end of this video and the links I kept in the description box of this video. Coming to the present content of the video. So here the college is uh, MNNIT that is Motilal Nehru National Institute of Technology. So here the PhD admission as well as the MTech part time and sponsored admissions are there. And click on the information brochure then you will be directed to this brochure regarding the PhD admission session 2021 to 22. So let us check the details regarding here. The total 12 pages are there. Uh, we will see the main important uh, points. Okay, so what are the points are required for the selection? So first check down the departments here. So what are the departments and how many seats are there? So Department of Applied Mechanics and Biotechnology, Chemical Engineering, Chemistry, uh, Civil Computer Science and Electrical, Electronics and Communications and GIS, Humanities and Social Science, Mathematics, Mechanical, uh, Physics and the Management Studies. So total these are the different subjects guys and if you belong to these subjects then you may continue this video or else please share this video to your friends or colleagues who belongs to these departments and looking for PhD in the National Institute of Technology okay and coming to the details here so total five different types of uh, categories are there in the PhD admission so first one is the institute stipendary full-time research scholar that means the first uh, three are the full-time research scholar but while coming to the first one is the institute stipendary okay and the next one is self-financed third one is sponsored fourth one is for the faculties and fifth one is for the sponsored part-time research scholars okay so coming to the first one and the second one that means uh, both these two 11 and 12 categories uh, the candidates who wants to apply for this one uh, they must have the gate qualification or the net qualification must be there anyhow we will see the details regarding that one eligibility criteria so first have a look here regarding the institute self-financed sponsored as well as the faculty and the part-time research scholar the details so based upon this one uh, you may check any one of this category Okay, based upon your interest and based upon your qualification and coming to the eligibility for admission so in engineering uh, master's degree uh, first class with uh, with this percentage and or else bachelor's degree or master's degree in science or applied biological sciences coming to the phd in management humanities and social science so first class and master's degree in management or technology or engineering or economics or commerce or science computer applications or social sciences or humanities with minimum 60 percentage of marks or else from the direct bachelor's degree you can apply for the PhD but you must have the CPA 8.0 or percentage minimum 75 or else the CA having minimum 3 years of professional experience as practicing the chartered accountant with minimum 60 percentage at both the graduation as well as the CA examination and in the sciences first class and post graduation in relevant discipline of science and mathematics with minimum 60 percentage or else for directly from the bachelor's degree. And coming to the geographic information system, so post graduation in GIS and remote sensing or civil or computer science or electronics or information technology, agriculture engineering or mining with minimum 60 percentage or else a master's degree in GIS and remote sensing or applied geology, geophysics, geography, environmental science, computer science or a degree in master of computer applications or else directly you can go with the bachelor's. And coming to the 11 and 12 categories, whatever the mentioned above, as I told that full time uh, research scholar with the institute as well as a sponsored one, the candidate must have definitely uh, to call uh, net or gate qualification is necessary, suggest where the eligibility conditions is master's degree in science, computer applications, commerce, economics, English or any subject of humanities or life sciences or management or BTEC or BE qualifying net or gate is necessary for the admission categories 11 and 12 and for foreign students valid GRE will be applicable. So the dip, I mean, the research areas also you may check down coming to the applied mechanics and uh, biotechnology, civil engineering as well as the chemical and the computer science and engineering. So these are the different specializations guys. So chemistry, electronics and electrical and GIS 
as well as the humanities and social science, mathematics and mechanical and physics and the management studies. Okay. So, while coming to the fee structure is also given here. So, first semester, all intermediate semesters and the final semester. So, the fee structure is mentioned and the MES fee and the application procedure is you have to click on this link guys then the online application form uh, will open. So, through this online application form you have to fill up the details. Okay, so it is online application portal. So, you have to fill up the necessary details here and you have to upload your uh, photographs, okay, documents and uh, scanned copy of signature. Coming to the application fee, uh, 1200 rupees uh, for the remaining categories and 600 rupees for the SC and uh, ST category. Okay, and admission criteria is given here. So, you may please go through this one details very clearly guys and a few important notes are also provided here. Uh, admit card will not be separately provided okay, by the institute for appearing in the selection process. The candidates has to regularly visit the portal. And coming to the important is, uh, dates here, uh, starting of online application from 5th April 2021. Okay, and the closing of online application process is 7th May 2021. And the receipt of printed and signed application, you may take up to 10th uh, May 2021. So, declaration of shortlisted candidates for the written test, 21st May. And the written examination in all departments, uh, 2nd uh, June. And the interview will be in the 3rd to 4th June. So, result will be declared on the 18th June and the last date of seat acceptance and the institution fee pay is 26th June days. So, these are all the important dates and the schedule of written test as well as the interview will be published along with the list of shortlisted candidates for the written examination or interview. Fine. So, these are all the complete details regarding the PhD admission in the uh, National Institute of uh, Technology, Allahabad. So, if you are having the UG Senate or I mean uh, or the gate qualification not having also you I mean you are having the different admission criteria here so there is opportunity to apply here guys so if you are having any queries regarding this admissions then please put your query in the comment section and uh, subscribe the channel to get the more notifications and the candidates who are preparing for the UGS net exam here one announcement follows so listen guys hi friends my name is Ashwini Kumar an academy educator so all of you know that an academy is the India's largest learning platform and uh, it is providing the very good uh, content to the learners who are preparing for the competitive examinations. And from this video, I want to bring you one notice that uh, I'm going to start the two new courses for the UGSnet candidates who are preparing for the uh, UGSnet exam in 2021. So the course number one is complete course for the uh, NTA UGSnet paper one that is teaching and research aptitude. So, that it is going to start uh, from November 9th onwards and coming to the paper 2 is uh, electronic science. So, the complete course for the electronic science is going to start from November 10th onwards. So, the interested candidates may take the subscription plan of the academy that I will show you the different types of subscription plans. Uh, but before going to the to those subscription plans for the paper 1 and as well as to the paper 2, uh, one thing that I want to share you is that if you want to check how the lectures will be and why because each and everybody is having some dilemma that before taking the subscription plans that whatever the content I am going to teach you. So, how the content uh, I am going to give you so whether you can able to understand or not. So, for that purpose I will provide my unacademy uh, profile link in the description box of this video guys. So, if you click on that one then you will be directed to this web page. So, here if you scroll down, you can check the special classes. So, special classes means these are the completely uh, free classes. So, every month I am going to take the free classes to the candidates. So, if you click on this see all, then all my special classes that you can check down here, right? So, if you click on these classes, then uh, whatever the video classes I took at that uh, date and time. So, those videos will play. So, with the help of these videos, you can decide that how I am going to deliver the uh, content of the concepts and each and everything. So, based upon that one, you may take the subscription uh, plans guys. Okay. 
and if you want to check that how I am going to teach the UGC net paper one that is teaching and research aptitude so it is my official uh, YouTube channel link for the paper one uh, that you can check down I will provide this link also in the description box of this video so here I did the uh, complete uh, unit one that is the teaching the aptitude here uh, by taking the total uh, six parts so it will be acts like the reference to you that how I am going to teach you whether you can able to understand or not so by looking all this content that means the electronic science from the Academy app and from the uh, YouTube channel you can guess that how I am going to teach the paper one so by looking all these things you can decide